Good morning all. Still a fair bit of post to get through, so it's post bag, but today there's an Arduino theme. So first off today we have, and it's another Arduino Uno. So yes, it's another Arduino Uno. This one's called an NH Duino Uno. Uh, it has the 80 Mega 328P as a surface mount and the CH340 USB to serial driver. This chip is changing the face of uh, clone Arduinos because it is a very cheap chip and it means that the Arduinos can be very cheap. And that's why I bought this, because it was cheap. So this is a new Uno Revision 3 80 Mega 328P CH340. But look at the price, $4.93 three pounds 14 free postage obviously and that's from Alice 1983. Now you can see that they've cut costs a little bit here by leaving out the uh, male header pins up here down here and also in this little cluster here. I mean male header pins are, are very inexpensive so that's not uh, a huge problem but this is handy look there's a whole block here of additional grounds 5 volts, 3.3 uh, volts and RX and TX and SCL and SDA and of course there's the uh, ICSP header. Now also on this board we've got the 2.1 millimeter uh, power jack, there's an AMS treble one seven uh, five volt regulator, there's a little uh, half amp polyfuse there and then the connector here is a mini USB. Now I can't remember where I got these but uh, it was a bargain, I remember that, it wasn't much money tons and tons of these uh, male headers so add a few of those to this uh, new three pound Arduino Uno and I think we've got ourselves a bargain. Now also from Alice I got some of these little breadboards and these have little dovetail joints so they can be uh, attached together. Um, like this, looks like you've got to interfere with the self-adhesive backing slightly but I think they're rather neat. And then also from Alice we have this which is 80 Mega 328P-PU pre-programmed with the Arduino Uno bootloader and a load of 16 Meg crystals. So you can probably see where this is going. What I want to do is a video on build your own Arduino. So the idea is we put um, one of these 80 mega 328p chips into a breadboard, put the crystal on. I can't remember which pins it goes on but it's going to be something like that. I'll have a look in a moment. Uh, we need a couple of capacitors for this crystal uh, tied to ground and then a few other bits and bobs build your own Arduino. In fact here's the 80 mega 328 pin mapping and we can see that the crystal goes on these two pins here which is pins 9 and 10. So there's the 16 meg crystal on pins 9 and 10 of the chip, pin 1 of course being on this uh, bottom left hand end. And then uh, we can add one of these uh, low cost USB to serial converters, this is a CH340 type, plug that into the breadboard and that means we've got a USB interface to our new homemade Arduino. So that was uh, five pieces of solderless prototype breadboard, 170 tie points, uh, $4.86, £3.10 and that was from Alice110 1983. Also 10 pieces of 16 meg uh, HZHC49S inline crystal, uh, 99 cents, so 63 pence for 10 of them, that's pretty good. Also from Alice. And 80 mega 328P-PU microcontroller with Arduino Uno bootloader, uh, $1.97, I think that's for one, I bought two. So they're £1.25 each. Alice again. Now also I bought five of these 80 mega 328p chips 
but this time they were advertised, or at least they weren't advertised, as having a bootloader. And I'm kind of hoping that these don't have the bootloader, because I then want to do another video, after the Build Your Own Arduino video, on how to install your own bootloader. And for that, we're also going to need these. Now I hope these are what I thought they are. Yep, they appear to be. I'll just open these up. So these are header pins again, but these are a bit different. These are double row and uh, long reach. I think the length of um, this part here is 19 millimeters. So the idea here is that we take one of these uh, 80 mega 328Ps with no bootloader, put it into the breadboard like so, and then I want to snap off uh, three of these pins off the end here. And then I want to bend these three legs out that way, these three legs out that way, and then bend the ends in. Now this may not work terribly well, but let's just give it a try. Bend these in like that. And then the idea is that this will sit across there. I haven't bent them in quite as much as I meant to. So that'll sit in the remaining uh, three rows of the breadboard there like that. And that will become the ISP header. So if we go back to the Arduino Uno for a moment, you can see this six pin ISP header. Now probably what I'll have to do is slide the plastic um, pieces down a bit to make these pins a bit longer than the one I've just made. But that's all right, I've got plenty more of these things. Um, now this is the header on which you connect a programmer and that enables you to program the chip directly and that is how you put the bootloader in. So I just made another of these uh, little six pin ISP headers that uh, sort of bends out and can span across this 300 mil gap, 300 mils that is, 300 thou. Um, you've got to be careful bending these because they do have a tendency to break so uh, I'll have a, a few goes at that but now these pins are longer and should be able to take the uh, six pin connector uh, that the programmer attaches to. So the five pieces 80 mega 328P-PU, microcontroller, AVR32K, flash, and there's no mention of the bootloader being in there, which is what I wanted. These were $8.87, that's £5.65, not a lot cheaper than the ones that have the bootloader installed, but a little bit. Um, now these came from Kingful Electronic Company. You've got to be very careful buying microcontrollers. I've bought fakes. Uh, a couple of times in the past. So what I did here is I went for a supplier with very good feedback, 99.7%. So I certainly hope that these are the genuine article. And the 10 pieces, uh, 2.54 millimeters, two by 40 pins, double row, male header pin, 19 millimeter extended pin. So this is a long reach uh, pin. These were $2.99 for 10 pieces, that's £1.90, uh, free shipping down there. And this was from eGoTo. Now, I mentioned that uh, I need a programmer to connect to that ISP header to program the bootloader into these chips that don't have it. And as luck would have it, here we have a programmer. Let's have a look inside the bag. Now this is called a USB Tiny ISP and it is very tiny. Now I already have a USB Tiny ISP but it's not so tiny. This was one I bought quite a while ago because I was having problems with an Arduino Nano. In fact here it is. Now this is the best Arduino I ever bought and that's because it has never worked but it's taught me so much about trying to install new bootloaders and trying to fathom out why this thing never worked that I reckon it was the best money I ever spent on an Arduino. Learned a lot from this thing. Now as well as the USB Tiny ISP uh, AVR programmer, 
is also the USB ASP or US BASP as uh, it looks. And uh, this is another USB uh, AVR programmer um, with this time a 10 pin connector which comes down to uh, here and in order to convert to the 6 pin for connecting to a standard ISP uh, header connector, this one here on the UNO, it has a 10 pin to 6 pin converter board. Now if you're thinking what on earth is Julian going on about, what's a USB tiny ISP and what's a USB ASP, well let me show you where they are in the Arduino IDE. Now if you've done any uh, Arduino programming this should look fairly, fairly familiar. Here's the Arduino IDE, we've got the simple, uh, what's this, the sketch which uh, just has the setup and loop, I can't remember what it's called now. But um, if you look under Tools and Programmer, here are the programmers that you can use to program an AVR. You can use them to program an Arduino as well. We have the AVR ISP, the AVR ISP Mark II, and now the USB Tiny ISP, that's the, uh, the tiny one that I just bought, and the USB ASP. These are all AVR programmers. And it's one of these programmers that we need to do this next function, burn the bootloader. So let's try something here. Let's take this brand new Uno, which I've never powered up, um, and put in my signature double flash blink program. Now I'm not going to connect anything to this USB connector. I'm going to program this UNO through the ISP header and I'm going to do that using my older, because I haven't soldered the uh, six pins into there yet, my older USB tiny ISP programmer. So let's connect the six pin header to the ISP header. Now it's a little bit confusing which way around this goes, but I just happen to remember that it, the wire comes out of the board. So that goes on that way around. And then let's plug USB into the programmer. Now you can hear that Windows uh, saw this as a USB device. Little red light has come on here. And this is flashing the standard one second on, one second off blink program. Now you need drivers for these programmers. Um, I'll have a look in a minute where the drivers came from, but they are already installed on my machine, so we should be able to go ahead now and write a double blink sketch. So, file, examples, basics, and blink. We'll open that sketch, bring that one across, and then what I need to do is change the standard one second on, one second off down here for, well I'll just duplicate this block firstly. Okay, so what I've done is I've got LED goes high for 100 milliseconds, low for 100, high for 100, and then low for 700 to make a total of one second. So we'll get two quick flashes and then a delay. Right, now I'm having problems with drivers. Uh, the USB tiny is coming up with an exclamation mark. So I uninstalled the old drivers. Uh, Windows was saying that it was having problems because they weren't digitally signed. But I've noticed here that on Adafruit, it's saying we now have signed Windows 8 drivers. So I've just downloaded these and I'm going to attempt to install them. Well now I'm having a few problems here. I'm selecting Tools, Board, Arduino Uno, Programmer, USB Tiny ISP, and then from the file menu, Upload Using Programmer, and although it compiles, it keeps coming up, Board at COM7 is not available. Well, the, port, the Board at COM7 was probably my um, CH340 USB to serial adapter, and it shouldn't be using that, it should be using the USB tiny ISP. So I'm going to actually try upgrading my software because I'm still using uh, Arduino 156R2 and I noticed that there's a 158 now available. I'll try anything. Well now after a lot of messing about 
I have finally managed to get the USB Tiny ISP, the old one, not the new one yet because I've got to solder that in, but I'll try that next, to program my double blink, you can see there the double blink, uh, into this brand new Uno. But it took a lot of fiddling about, it's not for the faint hearted. I had to upgrade my Arduino IDE to that 158 that's now available. And I also had to install those new USB Tiny ISP signed, digitally signed, Windows 8.1 drivers. But it is now working, so I need to push on really to see whether this uh, can replace this. This new USB Tiny ISP can replace the old one. And again, I'll program this new Uno. Well, now, sort of um, success, the new uh, USB Tiny ISP programmer has programmed a sketch. I went for a rapid flashing this time to differentiate from the last one I did. Uh, you may have noticed that um, my header cable is now the other way round because I <laughs> seem to get that one the wrong way round. It's quite confusing. Uh, pin 1 is marked uh, on the board. It's the opposite way around on this new Uno to how it was on the Nano. The Nano had pin 1 down on this bottom right hand corner. The Uno has pin 1 top left. So that was a bit confusing. It didn't seem to mind uh, getting this plug completely wrong way around on this programmer. But then there is a driver chip on here. Whether this one would survive that, I don't know. This won't program at all, and I know it used to program uh, using these programmers and the USB ASP I can't get to work at all. I'm getting all sorts of error messages and although I got this program to load into the UNO OK I'm also getting error messages. So it did program, I'm just blocking the light because it's uh, stopping you reading this, but it said verification error first mismatch at byte OX100 and blah de blah de blah so uh, this definitely needs a tutorial, and before I do the tutorial, I need to make sure it all works. So I've just uh, managed to program another Nano using the ISP header from this uh, USB Tiny ISP programmer, but it's not without its issues. Um, I am getting intermittent uh, errors still, with uh, verification errors with this process. Um, so before I do do a tutorial, I need to try and sort all this out. I mean, it may be possibly because I'm using the 158, which is still beta uh, version of Arduino IDE. I could try this on the uh, the standard IDE, the one that doesn't support the Yun. But uh, I think I'll leave it there for the moment. So if you fancy programming your Arduino via the ISP header, uh, this is the item I purchased. It's a micro... USB Tiny AVR ISP 5 volt AT Tiny 44, that's the chip that's on the PCB there. Uh, USB Tiny ISP programmer, and it was £1.56, 99p postage, and that came from Lakey X101. Now, one thing I should mention is that this thing doesn't come with the six pin ribbon cable, so you either are going to have to make one of those up or take one off one of your other uh, ISP programmers. Well now I'm happy to report that having gone back to Arduino official release uh, 106, everything seems to be working fine, including the old Nano that I was having trouble with, the uh, second Nano that I tried, the new Uno, uh, the new USB Tiny ISP is working fine, the USB ASP uh, comes up with an error message, but it still does program the Blink program, and uh, this tiny ISP is working fine. So all much better. I guess that um, indicates that you've got to be careful using beta software. And so this little lot is today's not entirely 100% successful Arduino special post bag. <laughs>